Hey, what's up guys? Today uh, I am making a video of me painting, well, plasti dipping my Cobb Action Sport cover. Um, I did this once before in yellow, but it didn't come out too good. The sides are kind of screwed up. Um, that's why I have it lifted up off of the, the cardboard there with those little, uh, I don't even know what those things are. I just found them in my garage and they worked perfectly. So, uh, yeah. So here we go. And before I uh, really say anything, I uh, I went to make this uh, video and I used the GoPro underwater case. So it really just crushed my sound. So that's where we're doing the voiceover. Hopefully, uh, you know, this doesn't come out the way I wanted it to, but it'll still work. So there we go. I just did like my first, my first coat. I kept it real light. Um, first coat you want to do... You know, you're only looking for about 50% coverage. Um, that's going to really help it adhere to the plastic. So, 50% coverage is all you need. Same with the second coat. Uh, second coat here, we're going to do real light again. Um, it might look like I'm putting a lot of paint on there, but I'm honestly just barely dusting it. Just trying to get it covered um, so that it'll adhere well to it. So here we come with third coat. Third coat, um, you can start going a little bit heavier. But I like to, to just keep dusting it until it's pretty much covered. Um, you know, you just build it up little by little. Alright, here we go with the fourth coat. And I kind of jacked it up there. Um, it really gummed up there on the tip. So I had to make sure I, I went back and, and cleaned off the tip before I went to spray it again. And that's also why you should always uh, spray off of your material before you start spraying it. So here, you'll see me do that in a second here. You know, right there. Just make sure it come, comes out good before you go ahead and start painting. Here we go. Just keep dusting it. Keep trying to cover everything. Slow, it takes a long time to uh, build it up, but it'll, it'll be nicer in the end. All right, so again, make sure you clean that tip off every time and just check to make sure that the paint's coming out good before you go ahead and start painting your stuff. I'm an idiot. Look at me, look at me explain stuff. I'm so stupid. <laughs> but no, right there, I think I was talking about uh, making sure you try to hit it from all angles because if you, if you keep spraying it from just one side, uh, you can miss some spots. And I actually did that a little bit. I missed some stuff, so I had to go back and do it. But... Yeah, I actually put a lot of a lot of coats on here. I think now I started doing uh, a little bit thicker coats um, once I get it pretty much covered. But I think here in a second, I think I go around and, and start spraying it uh, from the other side. Because uh, on the sides, it really wasn't covering too well. On the, on the, real, on the sides, they're hard to get to, so... Yeah, so here we go. I took it off. I really realized the the sides were screwed up. The sides were not coming out good. Um, they were still kind of bluish, so I had to make sure I go back and get those sides really well. Thanks, phone. All right, look at that stand. That thing turned out nice. Okay, so here we go. Um, more paint, more paint, more paint. You can see I'm really trying to get those sides really well. Um, it was a pain in the balls to, to get them good, but we got them. And like I said, here, here's what I was talking about. Going uh, all around, um, trying to come at it from different angles to, to cover, cover everything. So here we go. I think this is one of my last uh, coats with the red. Uh, like I said, still trying to make them heavy, heavy coats. Get it all nice and and uh, covered before I go to the clear plastic dip or what they call it, glossifier. And it really helps gloss that baby up, makes it shiny. All right. So here's the glossifier. I did two coats of this. Here's the first one. 
Um, I, I like to do them thicker. I want it to be real glossy looking. Takes time to paint this. Took took quite a while. Probably like a eh, probably a total of like mm, hour and a half because you have all the dry time and stuff. But came out looking really nice. Just keep going from every side. Keep hitting it nice, nice and even, and you're good to go. So here it is when it was all wet. It's still wet, but finished. Uh, everything. Covered real nice, came out looking good. And before I uh, even touched it, I waited got a good half hour to to uh, let it dry because I didn't want to put any fingerprints or any, or anything in it. So there you go, came out nice. And that's why I didn't uh, here I didn't clip it in to the clip it on the access port. I just let it sit on there because if you go ahead and push down on it right away it might uh, leave a fingerprint so I think the red will look good um, I'll, I'll put a picture on my Instagram up of this in my car so you guys can see what it looks like when it's completely dry oh and here's a tip don't put this in your car because it'll stink it up <laughs> but uh, yeah came out looking really good I really like it um, so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one